going on. Getting cold around, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Who do you have? The gifts are very cute. Oh. Hello. Yes, the gifts are so adorable. They're very fat. <laughs> Whoa. They're like pot belly pigs. Yeah. They can move a little bit better though. They were walking around a little bit. They make a lot of noise. I like their little noises though. Mm -hmm. Let's see. My star of the day was Edgar. Oh, Edgar, my boyfriend. Oh yeah, he's so funny. Yeah. He's he's a loud mouth and he's very jumpy, but he's very good. He jumps right in my car. Very excited. We went to Leahy. We have long hallways. We did a lot of like stop, go, stop, go. Whoa, like one step. Whoa, walk on. But and he was. He got he got an A plus for today. Um, very he's very excited, but he's very cute. He was one of the ones I was afraid of leash, like afraid. Now he's fine. Yeah. Now he's all excited to go out training. Right. Yeah. Some of the some of the girls like Harper and Pearl are still really nervous of the leash. They're always still afraid of it. They just get nervous. Thoreau doesn't like when it tightens up. He hasn't quite figured out that when he pulls away from me, it tightens. So he gets scared and he like pulls away from me. So we're working on it. I had Stowe, we did, we just walked around on the property. She's a little nervous in the car. She throws up. So she loaded up today. She jumped right in my car, but then was like, looked very afraid. So I just wanted to get her to load up on her own. We weren't gonna go anywhere. And then she unloaded, but she's not a fan. She won't really walk, like, we're really working on it, but baby steps. Whoa. Um, the gifts are very talkative. Cole, I think, is the most talkative one. He makes a lot of noise. They just kind of roll around and make a lot of noise. Um, Lainey's pretty quiet. She'll bark if my other dog barks, and she'll bark if people come in my house because my, uh, my other dog barks. Um, and if they're strangers that she doesn't really know, she'll kind of bark at them. But overall, she's pretty quiet. She doesn't bark for no reason. Um, does Lainey have a good appetite? Um, I guess she does. She's very picky, so if she's not really hungry, she won't eat. <laughs> like, when she wasn't eating before, it's, it's normal. So I try to feed her. I mean, there's, she, there's, there'll be weeks where she won't stop eating, and I could feed her breakfast, dinner, lunch, and she'll inhale it. And then there's other days where she's just not really in the mood. But if she doesn't finish her breakfast, she'll usually finish her dinner. And when she's here, I try to feed her lunch when I remember. Um, just because I want her to eat as much as she can. 
Good. That's good. She does a thing at home. She like will leave like three or four bites in her bowl, and it drives me nuts. I'm like, you just there's just three bites left. It's like a toddler. <laughs> And it drives my other dog nuts because she knows not to eat it. But Lainey will walk away and she'll just, she won't leave the premises, but she just like, she'll look at it and she'll look at everyone else like, can can you give me, can I eat this? Yeah. But she knows not to. For I mean, for a while, when Lainey first came home, because she's, she's like, you put her food bowl down, it's gone. So for a while, like, if Lainey walked away, she would eat her food. So she's, my other dog's getting a little fat. <laughs> Um, my other dog, I think she's, I think she's lonely. She's, I think she misses Lainey a lot. She's been sleeping in my bed a lot, but she never really sleeps in my bed. Because Lainey's always in my bed, but she sneaks up at night. And, and she's definitely extra needy. Whenever Lainey's gone, she's extra needy. I got her, we went to PetSmart the other day, and I got her a toy like it was like it's like a ball and you put food in it and she rolls it around food comes out the only problem is that she pushes it into corners and then it, and then like in like past where she can't get it and then she gets mad that she can't get it so it's not it was a fun toy and it's not so fun anymore so i we might have to just like baby baby proof all the corners <laughs> hello hello how was your day yeah <laughs> Those days. I was trying to add up who got shots when, and I wasn't totally awake, and I had thought somebody had it all wrong, but they were fine. Okay. I'm slightly more awake now, but not totally. <laughs> Did you hear and about the hawk in the arena? No. There's a hawk stuck in the arena right now. There's the doors. The doors are still open. He's just he's flying around. I don't know how he got in because all the all of the doors are shut. Wow. Shannon was leaving, and she came back in. I'm making bowls, and she's like, there's a hawk in the arena, and all of the doors are closed. So. I hope we get some video of that. Hopefully. I, I think she, she held up the thing, so I think the camera should be in there. Well, too bad the rats wouldn't come out. You could get them. And yeah. Them. That would be good. I think we're going to try and leave one of the doors open overnight so that she can get out, but. Yeah, it she'll will. She'll go hungry. Huh? She'll go hungry. She's stuck in the arena for a while. No, they'll fly out the doors. I used to. I used to, oh, I hate to think of it. I used to release pigeons or doves. They were actually homing pigeons. Over audiences in Boston, you know, some theater or another wanted doves and you'd throw them up in the air and I think, oh, they're, they're, they're gonna roost on top of everybody. But they don't, they fly up, They fly at the open door. Thank heavens. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you times the pigeons did not do what they were supposed to, but. Oh. Those times in, in theaters, they generally, you figure. put a light on, on the, you know, the theater would be dark. You put lights on in the lobby or outside or whatever, and they'd go out. So. But the, probably the dogs will bark all night long. Oh. I don't think they've noticed it yet. Do they fly around at night? Do hawks fly at night? Owls fly at night. Yeah, maybe. I've seen them fly, like, during the day. I, so. I think hawks are at daytime flying. Hmm. But the owls are, they're night. That, with that video we have of the owls coming in, get the rats at night, that's kind of wild. <laughs> I know, it's too bad there's not a bunch of rats running around the arena. Um, the pups, they'll stay at SDP. And Lainey lives with me. I only live 20 minutes from the farm. So, she's oh, close. Oh, the letter up in the third one up. Sister? Nope. Back down. Down, down. Down. Right there. Is that you? Yep. Should I open it right now? Or be a little mini mail call. This mail call is this mail. We open it. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm not alert. Oh, this, I like the cover. It looks like it's called Fairy Tales Created by Students at... Perkins Lower School. Oh, Perkins School for the Blind. I can hold up the camera after. Oh, no, this is long. So 
Should I be reading this out loud? Is that it's, your discretion? It's pretty long. <laughs> That's your discretion. No. If it's personal, you don't do that. You can get out of the way and I'll come in and read mine. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'll hold up the thing for you guys to see it. Oh. I go to Leahy in Danvers, the outpatient center. I'm not in Burlington too too often. That was a lot closer. Oh, so. yeah. You wouldn't go to Burlington. Yeah, that's... It's a trip. But a little thing. Thank you. Ugh. This is you, I assume? This... Did you turn in one of those? Oh, I have one right here. Oh, okay. I don't think my name is on it. Put your name on it, then. Oh. And I'll put it into that thing. Yeah. Yeah, and then this one has to come in too, actually. She's doing this. Okay. Huh. Where are you going now? Those screwdrivers have to go to the the shops. Okay. I, can, I can run them down. Well, not especially tomorrow. You can check in and go down there on purpose, you know. Yeah. We'll make a special trip. Oh my God. You? Oh my God, you? Are they okay in there, Jade? Yeah. They're okay. are off and running. Here we have Patricia Benward, South Plainfield, New Jersey. In Kimberly. Here we go. thoughts for you all today. Sending gentle thoughts to all at Service Dog Project. Yeah. Also, please choose two quick picks in memory of Mike Fortis. Thank you, Mike. That's from Patricia Benward. Oh. She's been a CP since 2012. Okay. Oh two chicken bricks. Okay, so I need the bucket. What happened to the bucket? goes in the chicken bricks. Yep. And that goes in there. And you get that one. How about that? Okay. And Jan. We have Jan Gerhold who mailed it on the 10th. What is today? The 13th? 13th. Not too bad. I would hate to have to run the pencil. The, the post office and get a package here from, get a letter here from Indiana Ipswich in three days. It would take me longer than that. Okay, I hope everybody at, Hi, everybody at Crazy Acres. Hope you're all doing well. Happy to see Daisy seems to be walking easier. She sure is enjoying escaping to be on the outside. She is, a, but she's not supposed to get out when it's muddy. She's supposed to get out when it's snowy. Um, your snow on Sunday was beautiful and everybody went to work and cleaned it up. Sorry you didn't have a bigger turnout for the chicken bricks, but it looked really cold there. In fact, it was colder in Ipswich than in, than here, in Indiana. It's supposed to be in the 40s tomorrow. Yay, heat waited. Stay warm and please continue to do what you do so well. Love reading all the stories from recipients in the Daily Doggy. And thanks for everything you do. And that goes to you. And this goes in the fun fund. And this... Jacques Duval. What do you mean my birth certificate expired? That's pretty funny. New study found consuming a cup of coffee every day can reduce the risk of Alzheimer's later in life. I wonder who studied that one. 
how do you how do you how do you do a how do you do a test like that one? I don't know. I, I have I have trouble with that one. If life is not smiling at you, give it a good tickling. Oh, isn't that cute? Okay. She's always got something. She's always got something. And here we have fidelity. Charitable. Oh, okay, this is... Huh. This is from Sharon Minoff, Minoff, Minroff. Oh, in a place in New Jersey that's impossible. Got a whole bunch of A's. M A N A L A P A N. Oh my word, that's almost as bad as Mississippi. M A N A L A P A N. Manalton. I never heard of that place heard of a lot of things. At any rate, okay, that's fifty dollars. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That goes in there, and you can have the fidelity envelope if you'd like it. Here's my favorite check of the month. Check of the month <laughs> from our friends at Memsic. At Memsic, eighteen thousand seven hundred and sixty-one dollars and forty cents. Bless you all. Wow. Wow. Without that, we would not be any more. Okay. And Harold and Wanda. We have a thing from Harold and Wanda. Okay. There's Harold and Wanda. And this goes, they're eating Cheerios this time. Okay. And here's another one. This is from Darwin. Twenty dollars from Darwin. Thank you very much, Darwin. That's that high school friend of mine. Well, there's somebody else. There's two of them. There's two of them. John C. Bean. I think they're coming here tomorrow. The Beans. Huh. Okay. Thank you. Beans and Darwin. Okay. Now we have some here. Whoop. Oh, I hope I'm better awake than I was earlier. I made a very silly mathematical mistake earlier. Here's one. Okay, this is from Virginia. Zionville, Indiana. There we go. And it's a whole bunch of poo pickers. There we go. And another one from Virginia. Okay. Christmas ever. <laughs> okay, thank you. Where am I? I'm here. This way. This is from 
Blumenthal. Is that true? Fairhaven, Mass. 02719. Okay. I did it. Hmm. Lamenti. Lamenti. Fairhaven, Massachusetts. Okay. Looks like a bunch of fun toys here. We have some napkins. Oh. Okay. And some plates. Somebody just asked me to get plates the other day, too. Oh, cough drops. I'll take those. Wow. Fruit and honey. Triple berry fruit spread. Wasn't that good? Money soap. That's pretty funny. There's money in every bar. That looks pretty good. And we have some poo pickers. I don't want to hear. <laughs> I don't want to hear any complaining about children unless your yours have hooves too. <laughs> Pregnant horse in bed next to a pregnant person. I don't want to hear any complaints about childbirth unless yours have hooves, too. That's pretty funny. Okay. Left at that one. And we have some money for the fun fun. Whoop, oh, wait a minute. Put that in fun fun. Why are bad grades like shipwrecks? Because they are blow... Oh. Why are they like shipwrecks? Because they are below sea level. That's bad. Why are bad grades like shipwrecks? Because they're below sea level. All right. We'll save that one for Steve. What do we got going here? What does Mars... What did Mars say to Saturn? Give me a ring sometime. Oh, all right. What do you call a bee having a bad hair day? It's a frisbee. <laughs> These are pretty good. What do you propose? All right. What do you propose to the queen bee with? A ruby. I don't get it. I don't understand that one. A ruby. A ruby? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. All right, whatever. What would the bee say to the no to the naughty bee? Behave yourself. Okay. What is the bee's favorite sport? Rugby. <laughs> okay, well we'll enjoy those as we pick up boo. Uh those are, we'll get Steve reading those sometime. Very good, thank you. And here we have herbal tea. Oh, that'd be fun. I see, this was the, this was the thing because I was coughing, apparently. <laughs> Kleenex. Oh, my very own box of Kleenex. <laughs> That's always handy. Oh, I, I'm, I'm not allowed to have these, apparently, because I never have them. I, if I start with a box here, they take it away from me. Mm. See, I don't have one here now. 
This will be my very own box of Kleenex. <coughs> and some more napkins. Thank you. Okay, we'll put that stuff back in here. Somebody can get it all together out in the kitchen department. That's very good. I didn't know that the cough drops stay there. No. tea. So the tea with the honey and the cough drops and the napkins, they're trying to cure my cough. There we go. Thank you. Okay. We'll now play the question game. Has anybody started anything like supper? I'm about to throw that in huh? after I hold this up. I'm about to put it in after oh. I hold this up. What is it? American chop suey. Oh. Who made that? Somebody made Donna. that? Donna made that? Oh, oh good. Okay. okay. A quick note about the Memsic chick. That is, yeah, that does not include the quick picks purchased with checks directly to Service Dog Project. That's why it's 18000 and something, because we're well over 20000 with it. So that's just the ones purchased online. True. Carlene bribes picks for the quick pick on the Mensic board, so they show up as poker chips. Usually, that's true. So they're not, they're not included in this check. That is true. Well, I think that Mensic is a great way to raise money. I still think their cut is high. No, not. <coughs> <coughs> Don't forget. Um, their cut includes the fund for um, credit card. They lose they lose five percent of whatever to credit card, <coughs> and I certainly don't want to. Heavens, we can't keep straight what we got going now, so it's it's definitely worth it. We'd have to hire a separate secretary. Okay, can you explain to me about the Memsic thing? Yes, I can. We have this chicken brick board. It is possible to go to our website and then click on the chickens, or chicken brick, or whatever it is, there are several different places, um, and that will bring you to a board where you can pick a number, and then each number costs $10, and as you wander through the directions that tells you what to do, you get to a place where you can pick a photograph of your own and put it on that wall, it's called, on the chicken wall. Um, and then once a month, we take all those numbers that you've bought and put them on a great big table in the arena at this time of year. And then we take out some chickens and put them on the table. And wherever the chicken makes a poo, becomes a member of the Shatapon Society of Ipswich. And I give them a big certificate, um, signed certificate uh, to that effect. And then they get a monetary gift from me, which is uh, below the taxable whatever. Um, so we're skating through on that one. Then the hard part is we have 21 bricks to sell out there. Now, after those 21 bricks are sold, which they have been sold every month, thank heavens, for the past several years, uh, we open the purple, the fly and purple egg department, where we open some more numbers up, where uh, you can, again, the, the numbers are $10 each, and what we do there is we take a purple egg, and I have a chute that it flies down and lands on the board, and wherever... The person closest to the yolk, the egg breaks in the process here. So whoever is closest to the yolk in that flying egg deal um, gets a, becomes a member of the Shatapon Society also and then gets a smaller check from me um, personally that I don't deduct. So it's not involved with taxes at all. So that's how that works. So go to our web and click on the chickens and figure it out. 
when it's said that a person will be trained to fit a recipient's special need, could we have an example of a special need? Well, the, the, the very speed that a person walks at becomes, a, becomes an issue. Um, they all have to be adapted to whoever, you know, whoever their person's going to be. Um, then things like, are they these people that are going to be sometimes in a wheelchair? So the dog would have to be trained to pull a wheelchair also. Um, we don't do things like open refrigerator doors and all. It takes too long to teach them that um, for our, in our case because they bet our, our people can open their own refrigerators um, and the dogs are, are better off out working as soon as possible. Looks like the new cart is working out. What cart? I don't know what the cart business is about. Okay, so I'm back to there. A little 16 more. How did you see that post? I deleted it way before now. Oh, because I'm very clever. <laughs> My computer doesn't behave like anybody else's. Maybe I should write my name on that Kleenex box. <laughs> That's true. It's different than the others around here. Does Service Dog Project make more off quick picks? Very slightly more. Just five cents out of ten dollars, something like that. Don't forget, we, you know, I'm just, generally the around here. Uh, either Linda or Donna have to type them in. I mean, you, you got you, there are expenses, and and hiring people here to help in the houses. Um, is an expense that you have to apply. So that that Memsic is a good deal. It, it, they're, they're all the headaches, and every once in a while somebody's credit card gets fouled up, or they get too many pictures of the wrong pictures. Or I don't know. He handles all that problems, and that's just wonderful because I don't want to do it. I don't have time. Now, this cart business, I now I know what they're talking about. They're talking about this cart next to me with all the fancy, shiny stuff. We had fun putting it together yesterday. Um, I can't find out where it was. Oh, there we go. Who got the rails on the cart? I did. And how? I just did. I did, all by myself. Sometimes I function better when I'm all by myself. Yeah, I just, I couldn't cope yesterday because there were just too many people helping me. So I got it. I, it's not easy to get on, but I found that I could take my hammer and wedge and, and use it as a lever to twist it just slightly so it clipped in place and then I hit it good and went right down into place. Are Gussie's pups drinking water yet? I don't think so. I, I'm not even sure we put water out for them yet. When will Gussie be going home? Another week maybe. I had a horse with white line. Was able to turn him out after I put a small baby diaper on the hoof and secured it with duct tape. Worked awesome, helped the stall boredom. Ah. Um, we've, I've done duct, duct tape and things like that. I just heard that Betty fell yesterday and broke her hip. That's Betty and Ivy. Need to put a pine branch on the open door. Birds fly out an open door generally. We've, if we need a branch, they will worry about that tomorrow, but I would think.
the quick picks are not included in the check that I get from Memsic. They are on the wall. We do put them on the wall, usually with poker chips, so you can tell which ones or how many are are um, quick picks. And it wasn't 18,000, it was almost 19,000 too, by the way. So we lost 10% of which five of that, five to him and five to credit cards. So if you do send the check here, yes, we don't have to pay the credit card fee or his. So that does give a little more to us, but I'm, I'm perfectly happy to pay him that because that's, that's a good deal. He, he, he solves all the headaches. Okay, we got 11 more. When will Laney's puppies be weighed? We weighed them. Did we, didn't we weigh them today? Laney's puppies? We did that. Well, they get the very most money with this to send the checks to us, but it's, okay. it, um, as long as we keep it going, we have to keep that, we have to keep that board going and keep that board sold out. That's the big deal. Um, and uh, we, I'm, I'm certainly happy to deal with the quick picks. If you send in, if you send in money here, uh, be sure, well, be sure, but put your email address on it and then when Donna types it into the board, she can send you your numbers. There we go. Was Finn trained around school kids? He seemed to adapt to Eve's class. Yeah, we, we have worked him around kids. Has the same person ever won at the chicken brick board twice? Yes, they have on two different Sundays. Do you ever consider special needs of someone in Crazy Acres? Huh? Do I ever consider special needs of someone in Crazy Acres? Everybody has special needs, as far as I can say. <coughs> the number of bricks on the board is 2,100. 21, yeah, 21, I meant to say 21, 21 something. 2100, yeah. Comments not showing up to gay without clicking the newest. Apparently you have to reboot this thing right now. Okay, so am I done? I'm not done, I got two more. Wait a minute. Carlene, wouldn't it be a good idea if there is a relatively new volunteer introduced to a new dog mom to put all the puppies in a basket to prevent them from being stepped upon by the mom and make this a rule? There were some dangerous moments with Gussie and the pups. There's always dangerous moments. Um, it doesn't help to introduce anybody gently to Gussie because tomorrow she may hate you. She's, she, she's, she does what she feels like that Gussie does. So, um, Barbara Heiss, well, I regret my original post, but I'm like, don't worry about it, just keep buying bricks. <laughs> don't worry about it. We weighed the puppies. Oh, there we go. I knew somebody would have it. That's what's bad. I'm, I'm getting bad at keeping any records at all because I know that you guys all have them. So sometimes I don't write anything down. And it's just as well because today I got in trouble trying to figure out when the dogs were supposed to have their shots. and. I, I wasn't quite wide awake when I decided it was all wrong, so it turned out to be okay. Uh, 
Yeah. This, there was a dangerous moment with Gussie and the pups. There's, you know, there's always dangerous moments. The whole business of raising animals in the first place is dangerous, but we're, we're doing all right. Do any of Gussie's puppies stand out to me? No. Oh, CA is California. No, it's not. It's Crazy Acres. What on earth did I say? What was I responding to? That was somebody about California then. Would we consider somebody in California, special needs someone in California? Um, uh, boy, that'd be tough. It's tough. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I hate to ever say no to anything, but I did. We did just send Finn away to Wisconsin, which is dead, that's against everything we ever say. So it just, you know, sometimes things strike you right and sometimes they strike you wrong. For somebody in California, we don't forget we have all these volunteer, all these veterans and things in this, and the veterans' families in this area, um, which we try and give preference to, but um, it, I, it, I just, I try never say no to anybody, but yeah, I just, there are an awful lot of negatives with that whole process. There are, there are, there are many training facilities out in California. They don't train Great Danes that I know of yet. I've tried to persuade them. I know those people. I meet them at conferences all the time, and I've tried to introduce them to Great Danes, but it's very tough. You get in touch with them. Tell them that you think they ought to train Great Danes. I'm happy to have work with them. First dog, Sonny Obama, bit family friend yesterday at the White House. They say she was too close in Sonny's space. Well, that's how you learn. Okay, am I done? I'm done. I'm done. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Things like that. Well, that, that does kind of stand up in the way, doesn't it? That cart. Okay, we're done. I'm turning this camera sideways now, aren't I? And I'm hopefully eating food soon. Yeah, very soon. Okay, so this has to go sideways. Pretty good. I can. I wonder if I can do this. That's pretty good. It's too bad all that stuff is in the way. But Gussie's bad. I'm sure we would have had a nasty accident if that thing wasn't in the way. Oh, she would have killed Laney. Yeah. She killed Laney. And, out of who and a couple people. I mean, right. she, she dives at people too. Yeah. Yeah. Not not nice about the whole thing. Okay, Liz at Explore. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Okay, I'm done. I didn't shut the mic off. Off shutting.